Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy, Crisp Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War Explore 12 team. Okay, so, of course, it is the holiday event, and we got this great troop right here. Um, some person might disagree with me on the usefulness of this troop, but I'm sure after watching this particular video, you will not disagree. Now, we have Chris Crinkle being added to the game. I rushed down the holiday event and made sure that I got this troop. So let's go over the second team with this troop right here. So up front on this team, I have the Mountain Crusher weapon. Very powerful weapon, um, one of the best early game weapons and even late game weapons um, that anybody can have. It explodes brown gems, period. That, that's what this, this weapon does here. But the most uh, powerful thing about the Mountain Crusher weapon is the fact that it has a, uh, right there, dust. So it takes in brown and it creates a brown storm every single time you cast it. Now, when you attach this weapon to... Um, a hero class like for example this one which is a, a titan hero class because of the setup of titan in the fact that it has a 50 percent start along with the fact that it has the uh, dust storm rock solid and of course lightning strike and fortitude um, mountain crusher on this team setup is very powerful with this combination any team that you have will benefit from slapping on mountain crusher on it I'm using it along with this troop right here. I was speaking about this before on my community section of the channel. Little Johnny Bronze, right? It's a pretty interesting troop. It wasn't used a lot particularly because there's not a guaranteed or a very solid way of uh, uh, creating or gaining treasure maps during a battle. Now, Johnny, uh, Little Johnny Bronze has for his spell, hook me up. Create eight skulls plus four more for every treasure map collected. Then there's a 20% chance to gain a treasure map. Why that is good is because Chris Crinkle, that's exactly what he does. He creates um, treasure maps, right? You get two every single time you cast him. In a regular team setup, the maximum that you can get is about 10 treasure maps. If I end up having 10 treasure maps collected, um, little Johnny Bronze is going to create a buttload of skulls. The entire board is going to be filled with skulls, um, which is going to be pretty hard for the enemies not to get smacked into dust, right? Um, little Johnny Bronze for his spell, um, his traits rather, he has Greedy, which is gain two bonus gold um, on four or five uh, gem matches. Along with that, it has Merchant. A, it gains 25% uh, bonus gold from battle. And along with that, which is very good, the troop is impervious, right? Meaning he is immune to all status effects. So Devourer, Lycanthropy, um, Death Mark, Mana Burn, you know, Poison, Disease, all that stuff will not work against this troop right here. Uh, my Chris Crinkles are lined up at the back of the team. Uh, for the banner here, I'm using the Kraken banner from Blackhawk. It is a plus two brown, plus one blue, um, minus purple banner. One of the most interesting things about this troop right here, which I don't know if other persons have overlooked, right? For his traits, Chris Crinkle has both, both uh, immunity to freeze and fortitude, which is very cool because he's a dwarf. Majority of dwarves have fortitude or impervious, which means he will never be able to be frozen. This is a very good thing on um, this team setup because of his final trait. Because on with many other troops, you know that final trait right there can be uh, problematic because it can backfire because it's creating those freeze gems. And if the enemy team ends up matching those gems, they'll end up um, backfiring on you. So it's pretty good that he has fortitude, so you can't stun him. Um, like classes like elementalist will do nothing to this troop right here unless you curse this troop you'll never be able to freeze this troop right here it's a very good um setup of traits right there um, i really really like it all right so let's um back out and hop into battle number one let's see how we can make this a uh, pretty quick team and demonstration for you guys all right so first off we want to take all the four plus gem matches off the board as you can see pretty easy we got our troop spell ready right let's cast our mountain crusher and there, our Chris Crinkle is powered up. Now, as you can see at the top of the, the top of the board, we actually have zero treasure maps. We're going to cast our Chris Crinkle. We're going to get a treasure map right there. Um, as you can see, again, those um, freeze gems are popping up all over the board. It's 30% chance to create one. There, I got one right there. Um, let's do this now. And as you can see, we have, in total, four treasure maps. Let's cast our... Um, Little Johnny Bronze, he actually is going to be creating a total of 16 plus 8. Um, that's what we have, right? That's a total of uh, 24. Let's go ahead and cast him. 
There we go. We got a kill. Let's match that up. We got our Chris Crinkle powered up again. Let's cast him once more. We're going to put more of those treasure maps in the bank. And there, our little Johnny Bronze is powered up. They're frozen. They're not going to be able to do anything against us. And we're going to create a lot of skulls. Just like that. Once again, we're going to cast our Chris Crinkle. Now our Mountain Crusher, get our troop spell ready. Cascading Skulls is doing a lot of work for us. Just like that. That was a huge amount of skulls. Did you guys see that? That's a huge amount of skulls. The entire board was basically filled with skulls right there. Once you get those treasure maps past, like six or like eight treasure maps, it's over for the enemy team. You know, you're going to be you know, smacking them into dust with this team set up here. All right, let's check the board again. Let's see if we can get some mana to our Mountain Crusher. Uh, there we go. Now, uh, he's not powered up yet. Wow. That's interesting. Uh, let's match that down. What's happening here? They want to give us the the mana. Let's match that over. There we go. Very nice. Now, let's cast our Mountain Crusher. All right, let's match that over. Get our Mountain Crusher powered up. Now, let's get some treasure maps. Let's get... Nice. We're freezing them. Let's get some more. And now, let's destroy them. Very nice. We got some Skull Reflect there. We're not going to worry about it. Uh, Chris Crinkley is powered up again. And he's just giving like a crazy amount of uh, status effects to our team. As you can see, we're, we're, we're enchanted as well as we're um, having Reflect on a number of our troops. Let's match that down. Get our troops spell ready again. Big hits. Uh, they're proving to be very tough. Let's match that over. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, do we have enough brown on the board? Not a lot, right? Uh, let's see if we can take some skulls here. Let's take that one over. Uh, the enemy's matching. 4 plus gem matches like crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and um, get barriered up. Let's hit him right there. Almost got him. Let's cast our Mountain Crusher. And Cascading Skulls does the job. Now, one thing I should point out, I was actually going through the spell right here for Chris Crinkle, and I, and I actually overlooked something. When it says give all allies 38 points to a random skill and a random status effect, the random skill that it applies is random also in between each ally. So while Chris Crinkle might give Mountain Crusher the hero up top, he might give him attack um, with that singular cast. He might, in that same cast, give uh, Little Johnny Bronze magic. Or he might give him armor. Or he might give him um, life in HP. That The wording of this spell is um, pretty tricky in that it's not very clear in what it's actually doing. It doesn't give all allies the same skill across the board even if it might be random for choosing it gives each ally a random skill so it it varies among the allies when it casts it's very weird i've been noticing that and i'm like what exactly is this troop doing is giving one troop magic and one troop this you know and that's what i noticed um maybe i'm mistaken but that's what i thought i saw when i when i um when i cast the spell if I am, let me know, um, because I've been trying it many times, and I'm seeing like it's giving different things to different allies in the same cast, which is which is weird. Uh, let's cast our Chris Crinkle. All right, so let's look at it here. I cast the troop, right? And my Mountain Crusher has 114 attack. Am I right? 114 attack. Where did it give the other skill points? So as you can see, I cast it. It gave itself... Um, magic, because before it was 30-something, 30 38, right? Um, my Mountain Crusher now, see, it didn't give it magic. My uh, little Johnny Brands, it didn't give it magic. It's weird. It's pretty weird. Is it a bug or something, or I'm just simply mistaken? I think it gave the some of the other troops HP. It's 145. Maybe I'm mistaken. I'm not sure. You guys tell me. Let me go ahead and cast this troop right here. Nice big hit. Um, let's match over this 4 plus gem match right there. Let's cast this one. Now let's cast little Johnny Bronze. 
Very nice. Let's cast our Mountain Crusher now. Let's get our Brown Storm going once again. We're getting hit like crazy. Uh, let's match that over. Got Cascading Gems. And let's kill this last one out. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm a bit confused about this spell. It, it seems to be giving random status effects. Not random status effects, but random uh, skill points to diff differently to different allies. It's, it's weird. You guys tell me if I'm seeing it correct or I'm just I'm just confused. You know? All right, let's check here. Let's cast our Mountain Crusher. We'll cast him again. Uh, troops are proving uh, difficult to get spell ready this time around. All right, let's check the board here. Let's cast our... Uh, back. Let's get Variant so he doesn't hit us. Don't want that to happen. There we go. Got a treasure map. Got one more. And now let's, let's apply that pressure. Just like that. Let's match that one over. Got another hit. And let's cast. Not yet. Let's match that up. One more hit. Very good. And now let's cast our Mountain Crusher. Alright, let's, uh, let's match this down. That over there. Match that down. Very good. Very, very good. You know, this is not like a changing of the meta per se with this team. But it's interesting that you can actually use this troop. Um, some person might say, oh, it's... It's not the best troop that was added, but you can't say it's not a useful troop. You can do some things with this troop. Yeah, let's go into this mini boss fight. Uh, let's match this right here. Mana toward troops. Very nice. Let's cast our Mountain Crusher. Now let's cast our Chris Crinkle. Then the other one. Now let's cast our little Johnny Bronze. Let's cast. Mountain Crusher right there. Got mana. Enemy troops are trying to kill us out. Uh, let's go ahead and cast a Chris Crinkle again. Get, let's get some more of those gems on the board. Very good. Now let's kill the last one. Nice. Very, very good. All right, let's see here. Yeah, we're at the Mythic Boss fight. Let's hop right in. So yeah, let me know what you think about this troop right here. Let me know what you think about the team. I always like to hear a person's opinions on you know the different things that I post on the channel. Let's match that skull over. And we barely have any brown on the board that we can use. Oh, there we go. And let's, match, let's cast this. Match that brown right there. We have all his team. All the enemy team troops are frozen. Alright, very good. That final trade for Chris Crinkle is actually put it in the work. Alright, there we go. Now we can start casting our troops. A little Johnny Bronze. Let's match that up. Now let's cast a Mountain Crusher. Very good. Let's... Take this skull as well. Let's cast him again. Very good. One last skull work should do it. Very nice. Yeah, that is the team, guys. Let's check what's inside this boss chest now. Give me something good. Give me something good, please. Nothing. Just like that. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that is the team. Let's look back at, at it again. Um, of course, we have our Mountain Crusher up front. Um, Destroying a buttload of gems, uh, brown gems as a matter of fact, with that brown storm, along with the Titan Hero class. And we have Little Johnny Bronze, right, from Blackhawk. I actually decided to gold medal this troop. You know, why not? And of course, Chris Crinkle doubled up at the back of the team. Pretty, pretty interesting troop. You guys tell me what you think. If you like the video and you like the teams, definitely hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you guys haven't. A lot of persons are watching these videos, but they're not subscribed. They're, please, if you're watching, why not hit that subscribe button? Obviously, you like the videos. And um, yeah, comment to let me know what you guys think. And invite anyone that's watching these videos as well that might like these teams. Send them to come on over and check out the channel. All right, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.